Hello, brilliant minds. We're diving deep into the ocean of knowledge today, exploring the enigmatic civilization of ancient Atlantis. A place of great allure and mystery, shrouded in the mists of time, Atlantis continues to captivate us with its tales of advanced societies and catastrophic downfall. This lost city, a beacon of ancient wisdom and technological prowess, has left scholars, historians, and dreamers alike in a perpetual state of fascination and intrigue. So, buckle up as we embark on this thrilling journey through time and myth. Our tale begins in ancient Greece with the revered philosopher Plato. A towering figure in the world of philosophy, Plato's works have shaped our understanding of a multitude of topics, including the mystical city of Atlantis. The first mentions of Atlantis appear in two of Plato's dialogues, Timaeus and Critias. These dialogues, written around the 4th century BCE, serve as the foundation for all subsequent Atlantis lore. In these dialogues, Plato presents Atlantis as a powerful and advanced civilization governed by wise and noble kings. This utopian society was said to be beyond compare, with its citizens living in harmony and advanced knowledge. In Timaeus, Plato describes Atlantis as larger than Asia and Libya combined, located beyond the Pillars of Hercules, what we now refer to as the Straits of Gibraltar. It was a land of wealth and prosperity, with natural resources in abundance, and architectures that were a feast for the eyes. Critias, on the other hand, delves deeper into the societal structure and culture of Atlantis. It was a civilization that valued wisdom, courage, and discipline above all else. Plato's Atlantis was a beacon of enlightenment, a society that had achieved a perfect blend of physical and spiritual fulfillment. However, this idyllic civilization was not to last. In these dialogues, Plato also tells us of Atlantis's downfall. The Atlanteans, despite their wisdom and progress, fell out of favor with the gods. Over time, they became greedy and power-hungry, straying from the path of virtue. This angered the gods and led to Atlantis's destruction. As Plato puts it, in a single day and night of misfortune, the island of Atlantis disappeared into the depths of the sea, leaving no trace of its existence. The prosperous and advanced civilization was swallowed by the ocean, erased from the face of the earth. Thus, Atlantis, in Plato's vision, was a paradox of perfection and punishment, a society that reached the pinnacle of progress, only to be wiped out due to its own hubris. And so, the tale of Atlantis serves as a cautionary tale, a reminder of the volatile balance between progress and virtue. From the pages of Plato's dialogues, Atlantis sailed into the minds and hearts of thinkers throughout history. As we journey through the corridors of time, it's evident that the perception of Atlantis has been as fluid as the ocean it supposedly sank into. The Renaissance period, known for its rebirth of classical ideas and wisdom, saw Atlantis as a utopian society, a beacon of perfection lost to the ages. Scholars and dreamers alike envisioned it as a place where art, philosophy, and science thrived in harmony. But as we moved into the Age of Enlightenment, a time marked by reason and intellectual exchange, the image of Atlantis began to shift. It transformed from an ideal society into a symbol of hubris, a civilization that fell because of its arrogance and disregard for nature's laws. This interpretation echoed the Enlightenment's emphasis on humility before the vastness of the natural world. In the 19th century, the dawn of archaeological discoveries sparked new interest and in theories about Atlantis. Some proposed it was the cradle of all civilizations, while others suggested it was an advanced society with technologies beyond our comprehension. The idea of Atlantis stirred both wonder and controversy, inspiring heated debates among scholars and enthusiasts alike. Now in the modern era, Atlantis holds a mirror to our hopes and fears. It prompts us to question the limits of human achievement and the consequences of our actions. It serves as a warning, a reminder of the potential downfall that comes with unchecked ambition. At the same time, it represents an aspiration, a longing for a lost golden age that we might strive to reclaim. And so, Atlantis continues to morph, shaped by the ebb and flow of our collective consciousness. Each era adds new layers to its legend, painting a rich tapestry of interpretations and speculations. It's a testament to the power of stories and their ability to endure, to inspire, and to provoke thought. The Atlantis of our imagination has evolved, yet its core allure remains unchanged. Its story, no matter how it's retold, continues to captivate us, inviting us to explore the depths of our curiosity, our ambition, and our humanity. The specter of Atlantis has not just haunted the realms of philosophy and literature, but has also intrigued the scientific community. The enigma of Atlantis has inspired various scientific theories, each trying to explain its existence and eventual disappearance. Some scientists surmise that Atlantis was a real continent that sank into the ocean. 
This theory is based on the idea that a catastrophic event such as a tsunami or earthquake caused the landmass to submerge. It's a thrilling notion, isn't it? An entire civilization swallowed by the sea, leaving no trace behind. On the other hand, some scientists believe that Atlantis may have been a metaphorical construct. They suggest that the tales of Atlantis were allegories invented by Plato to illustrate his philosophical ideas. In this view, Atlantis represents an ideal society that fell into decadence and was ultimately punished by the gods. The scientific community has also explored more grounded theories. Some propose that Atlantis was an actual ancient civilization, but not on a lost continent. Instead, they suggest that it was located on existing landmasses such as the Greek island of Santorini or in the Mediterranean region. These theories often point to similarities between the architectural and cultural aspects of these regions and the descriptions of Atlantis by ancient authors. However, none of these theories have been universally accepted. The lack of concrete archaeological evidence makes it difficult to substantiate any of them. This has led to ongoing debates within the scientific community. Some argue for a more literal interpretation of the Atlantis story, others advocate for a metaphorical one, and still others propose a mix of both. Despite the lack of consensus, the quest to unravel the mystery of Atlantis continues to captivate scientists. It is a testament to the human spirit of inquiry and our desire to understand the past, no matter how elusive it may be. Thus, the scientific quest for Atlantis is a captivating saga of conjectures and controversies. From scholarly debates to silver screens, Atlantis has permeated our popular culture in a myriad of ways. This legendary civilization, submerged beneath the waves, has sparked imaginations for centuries, painting a vivid picture of an advanced, utopian society lost to time and the sea. Hollywood, the dream factory, has been instrumental in shaping our vision of Atlantis. From silent films of the early 20th century to the high-tech blockbusters of today, Atlantis has been depicted as everything from an idyllic paradise to a dystopian nightmare. Each interpretation, while different, captures the allure and mystery that surrounds the lost city. In literature, Atlantis has served as the backdrop for countless novels and short stories. From Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea to Marion Zimmer Bradley's The Mists of Avalon, authors have used the myth of Atlantis to explore themes of hubris, power, and the consequences of unchecked technological advancement. Onto the small screen, popular television shows like Stargate Atlantis and Atlantis have brought the city to life in the comfort of our living rooms. These shows, while steeped in fantasy, often reflect our own society and the challenges we face. The allure of Atlantis extends to the world of video games as well. Gamers may recall navigating underwater ruins in Tomb Raider or steering a submarine through the sunken city in Bioshock. These games let players experience the thrill of discovering Atlantis for themselves, adding a layer of interactivity to the myth. Every interpretation of Atlantis, whether it's in a movie, a book, a TV show, or a video game, offers a unique perspective. They reflect our fears, our hopes, and our fascination with the unknown. In pop culture, Atlantis continues to rise and fall, captivating audiences worldwide. From Plato's philosophical discourses to our digital distractions, Atlantis persists, an enduring enigma. The allure of Atlantis transcends time, captivating the hearts and minds of explorers, historians, and dreamers alike. This fascination stems from our inherent intrigue with lost civilizations, our thirst for uncharted territories, and our yearning for utopian societies. There's a certain charm to the unknown, a sense of adventure that tickles our curiosity. Atlantis embodies this allure, an elusive city cloaked in mystery and steeped in legend. It represents a utopia lost in time, a civilization that once stood at the pinnacle of human achievement and then disappeared, leaving behind a tantalizing trail of clues. Its enduring enigma is a testament to our never-ending quest for knowledge, our desire to understand the world, to unravel its secrets, to push the boundaries of our understanding. As we continue our quest for knowledge, Atlantis remains a tantalizing mystery, forever submerged in the depths of our collective imagination. Damn. Uh.